Welcome to the channel. Today we're installing the upper insulation on the 63 or the sound deadening and we're also installing the lower sound deadening insulation which is installed with push pins. The top one is glued. So be sure to stick around if you want to see how that's done and to check out some more updates with the split window. This is the driver side insulation. I'm spraying the entire piece and then I will spray the entire part of the firewall and install it. Alright, we've got one side in. It has this nice little notch to tuck up in here. It keeps tight around the wiper transmission opening. Then it goes back in this crevice back here and tucks up around the other insulation. So it's time to do the other side. We're doing the passenger side insulation in multiple sections because it is a much larger piece. I started with the area around the windshield wiper motor because it was the largest and easiest area to line up first before I started to do the more complex curves. Alright, so the insulation is installed now. It went easier than expected. Um, it helps to not have the wiper transmissions in, and you do have to remove that support bar. And I had a wire clip I had to remove, which I made a hole in the insulation, and it comes through on the cowl, so I can put that back in place. But it's definitely easier to do this one first before you do the snap in one. And now I have the lower insulation installed. I also have the pedal assembly installed. And the insulation actually goes around the lip of the pedal assembly, so I had to squeeze that in around it. Um, I really don't have a bunch of good tips for how to do these little push pins. Uh, I broke a few along the way. I ended up having to drill the holes out a little bigger. Um, I heated the pins up in some hot water. I greased them up and then I used um, a punch with some washers on it to support the back of it and pushed it through. I had to buy a couple extra like I said, but got them all in and now I can start putting stuff up on the firewall like the puddle assembly. Uh, I have to put the emergency brake lever in the hood release cable and then can start hooking up the cut clutch linkage and eventually do brake stuff and 
Next will be fresh air vents. Alright, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. There's going to be a lot more videos coming out, so be sure to check those out, and I appreciate you guys watching.